Our next guest lives here. Oh, well, that's... So she was both... See, that's, uh, that's not a guest then. No, well... Our new next resident. That's true. Um, our, uh, we, as I said before, we have moved uh, our studio, and we've moved it into mm-hmm. the basement of our home. Yes. And so... Uh, that's very nice that you now have a basement, by the way. It is very nice that you have a basement. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. And uh, so I'd like to thank this person for letting us do this in our basement. <laughs> and sure. uh, also for being married to me for almost uh, 20 years. Yeah. Uh, that, takes is, a, take, that takes a real strength. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pia Guerra is here. Yay. Hooray. Pia Guerra. Hooray. Hello. I'm sorry I have to set a timer for you as well, but this is the way it no, works. You want, you want this to move smoothly. I do. I want yeah. it to go smooth. It's so far so good, I think. There's yeah. nothing for- worse than bored house guests. Exactly. Oh yeah. well, well. Here's what we've done. We've actually set this up as a party. Yeah. Situation. Sure. We had. We so, yes. so we've. Uh, we had pizza. Yeah. We and and everyone brought amazing snacks. Yes. It's been like, really just good. Just astounding, amazing snacks. Yeah. yeah so uh, so well done. What's your favorite snack been so far? So far, the sneaky dragon cookies. Okay. Are, are there any incredible. left? Uh, yes, there are. Because right. people are afraid we'll to, to eat a, them because they're so pretty. We'll have to get a picture of them before yes. we. Uh, and who brought yeah. the sneaky dragon cookies? <laughs> that was Jackie. Th- no, it was Louise. Oh, it was Louise. Oh, it's that Louise. was Louise. That oh. was our first guest. We didn't even Louise. thank her for them. She did a great thank job. Thank you, Louise. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Uh, so the one question I'm not going to ask Pia is what she's up to next, because I know <laughs> that is the question that uh, is uh, one of the most annoying questions again. For oh, was that right? I guess. Yes. Or isn't it? Do you want me to ask you uh, that? If you want. All right. What are you up to next? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing stuff for the New Yorker magazine with you, so you know about that. I do know about uh, that, that's and true. And also stuff for Mad Magazine with you, so you know about that too. Right. Everyone that I tell about that mentions to me that Mad Magazine is going out of business. Yeah, because yeah, some people think it is. How I found out <laughs> about that was... Uh, there's a website, and I don't want to say the name of the website because I don't want to drive people to the website, uh, but it, it, it like loosely reported that someone heard that this might be happening, and then everyone else picked up on that, but just quoted the website that heard something that okay. someone else might be happening, yeah. and this was the same website that declared a TV show that your co-creator on yes. was dead months ago. And it's not dead, of course And it's not, not dead. So, and when that happened, basically, uh, we had a really rough day because we went like, oh no, this show that we were kind of depending on yeah. is going going away, which but, was like, why? But the then the I show. contacted them and like, oh no, no, it's fine. Yeah, so they were full <laughs> of shit then. Yeah. So these are the guys that then also declared that Mad was dead. So when I read that, it was like, meh. And and so far, we don't know whether Mad is dead, dead. Yeah, they're they're not really saying either way, and we're still doing stuff for them. So they might be on a different schedule, maybe, or maybe someone else will come in and. Bring it, take it over. We don't know. Yeah. Nobody knows. So how are you liking, like you've, okay, you used to do like a lot of sequential uh, comic books, like Why the Last Man was probably what you're best known for. But how are you liking doing uh, like uh, editorial cartoons and gag cartoons? Is they, I think is it's it... a really nice break from the, the just the, the schedule. I mean, when you work on a, on a, on a monthly comic for years and years, it's, uh, it's grueling and it's just kind of dulls your brain and this is just fun it's just it's gags it's funny you're laughing all the time and you know i can pick the ones i want to draw so it's not like you must draw this by tomorrow kind of thing it's like i still have to draw it by tomorrow but at least i can draw the ones that i think are funny yeah so. let me just ask uh, kathleen gross she's here you've been working on a comic for years and years has it dulled your brain <laughs> nope. Okay. She said so, no. uh, one me. out of two no, artists just, still the dulled her brain. She's still as sharp as that. Although you asked her, you should ask people who know her if it stalled her brain. Uh, that is because she point. doesn't know. She's like the frog in the boiling pot. No, I really loved working on why. But not the, that you're a frog uh... in a boiling pot, Kathleen. <laughs> I would never say that about you. I... And if anyone said I did say that about you, they're liars. Ian, don't say that about me anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like I, I do enjoy doing sequentials. It's just that I it's I put way too much detail into things, and I I haven't learned how to slow down. So it yeah, of course my brain's gonna explode. But uh, <laughs> but I found this nice happy medium right now where it's it's uh, it's not too difficult. I can can adjust and have fun, and it's basically one or two days a week. So yay, it's not like seven days a week until four and the five in the morning. So yeah, yeah I love it. So, so um, can, I, can I ask a question though? Like, oh yes. Because when you when you do New Yorker cartoons, you do them as a package. You send off, yes. you know, six to eight. Let's say six to eight cartoons yes. to them. Sometimes four. <laughs> if it's a really rough week, I'll, some, I'll probably only have three. And but yeah. she understands. Our editor sure. is great. Sure. And they go through them and they accept or reject them. Yes. Does it feel like oh I did all this work on these comics and now they're 
It what would, do I do with these? If things? I was doing them every day yeah. and like like seven days a week, yeah, I'd feel really, I'd feel the rejection pretty hard. But since yeah. it's one day, yeah. where it's like you know, I wake up, Ian's got a bun, a list of like fifteen or so gags. Yeah, I can go through, pick the ones I want to draw, and then I draw them up in one day, send them out the Tuesday morning. And then I wait till Friday, and if it doesn't go, it's like that's fine. It's just a few hours off of, off of you know out of, out of the week. It's not a big deal. Whereas if it was like if I drew a, a twenty two pager a month and then found out oh we're not going to do it this month, I'd be pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is actually it's okay. I actually like it. It's and I, I do when I'm writing them. Uh, I try to draw things that are easy. Like I do a lot of jokes about snowmen. Okay. And a lot okay. of jokes about ghosts. Sure. And uh, if I can, invisible people. That's also a good one to <laughs> yeah. do uh, jokes about. Yeah. Uh, jokes where it's dark. Mm -hmm. uh, things okay. like that. Yeah. And then once in a while, I'll do something where it's set inside like an airplane. And then I feel really bad. Because you've got to draw everyone in that the That hilarious airplane. joke where the guy was riding yeah, the bicycle if down the stairs. If it's really funny, then I'm like, uh, but it's like, okay, I'll do that one and then about four easy ones. And okay. Then it's fine. And then yeah. one about three you, fish in a fishbowl. Have you learned what the New Yorker's looking for? And you kind of, so if Ian gives you a bunch of gags, do you kind of say, uh, maybe I won't work on these ones, even though I think it's funny. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to waste my time on stuff that I don't think they'll accept. Yeah, there's sometimes where a joke doesn't quite work with me, where yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I can interpret it this this way okay. it should be. And other times it's like, okay, that's definitely not a joke that the New Yorker is going to go for. Maybe Mad will. Yeah. And uh, so it's I keep all the I keep them all there. I don't erase any of them, but it's yeah. just uh, they're all set aside for future stuff. But yeah, sometimes it, it's because again, it's more like you you're just churning out these log lines of jokes yeah, yeah, yeah. and one of them's going to hit. So sure, yeah. Sure. And so it, it, I, you don't kind of, you're not going to be really too hard on like the ones that are not, that don't quite work. Yeah. But, okay. Maybe that'll work another time when I've come up with another angle or way of doing it. And that's happened. There's been a few times where I get to like, okay, I got to do one more and I, nothing's, I'm not feeling any of these. I'll go back a few weeks. Like, Oh, this one actually I see now and I'll do that. Yeah. One. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it makes you think of uh, Bernie Taupin, uh, Elton John's lyricist, who would like mail him like reams of lyrics. Yeah. And Elton John would sit at the piano. And if you couldn't think of a tune for the lyrics, yeah. you just throw them out. Like like in five minutes, he'd be like, no, waste of time, throw it away. Yeah. Start the next one. And you wonder how Bernie Taupin feels like, Okay, that was it's part of the a process. few weeks of work, but I guess that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it, and I'm it doesn't sure, speak to you. It doesn't and he's still getting you. paid for it, which is nice. We, we don't get paid for the rejects. <laughs> <It's like> for <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Bernie Taupin gets paid for songs that aren't recorded. Like a, he would only get paid for ones that oh, are, that are wow. published, like published songs. So. But if you, you know, if you, but want I mean, to, it's the chance you take. Yeah. I guess if you want to write like one thing, you write ten things. Yeah, you know? yeah. and then that's the one thing that that hits. Sure, that's sure. like anything really. But that's yeah. the trick is don't take it personally. Even the ones when we when we get a week where we don't sell any, it was like, well, okay. Okay, next week we'll try again. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's a good attitude. And it, was, and it was good practice for that. So if there was uh, something uh, that's like your dream job, what would, uh, what would that be at this I don't point? know anymore. Maybe... Uh, <laughs> All your dreams have, are died. Uh, maybe one of those little False Creek ferry operators. I, I know, you keep coming back to this. I know, Sorry. I really like it. The, the idea... Okay, when you're saying a False Creek ferry operator, yeah. one person gets what... Two people get what you... Three, the ferry or the Three taxis? people get you. No, those little water taxis are called yeah. False Creek ferries. Okay. So your dream okay. is to uh, to run a water taxi. Yes. Because the, the guys who ride those things or run those things are so super chill. And you get to just go up and down yeah. the, the, the creek. I and feel like that's where bicycle couriers end up. <laughs> yeah, I probably. Uh, but, you know. The, they can't ride anymore. They go. They start working the water taxis. Yeah. And in the early spring, they're wearing nice Aaron, Aaron sweaters. And, mm. you know, it's like, it's it looks like a fun gig. I yeah. mean, it's just, uh, maybe you see a whale. Sure. Yeah. Possible, I, I guess. <laughs> in False Creek? Yes, they, they, the gray whales come in okay. every year. Okay. Yeah, you'll see one or two. Yeah. Would yeah. it work just to have your own boat, or do you really want to work as a ferry? Like yeah, a you're right. Boat? It's probably after a few days, it'd probably get really annoying. But I like the idea of boating. I want to. I'm looking at getting like a a little pilot's license, one of those you know small vehicle yeah. operator's license. You can also do join the power squad. That's what it's called. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but what? But you can also, with that same license, uh, do uh, charters and things mm. for like whale watching and stuff like that. Cool. That sounds like fun. We we're on the all on the ocean here. We barely do anything that we should probably do. That was one thing I liked because you used to, <laughs> used to volunteer at the aquarium. Yeah. You're saying how whenever there are like whales that were in False Creek, the everyone... whole the whole offices, all the administration offices, empty out. People just running across the lawn to get to the shore to see the okay. orcas. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's pretty exciting to see whales. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. I've seen them a few times. And I've seen like where when they go come into the creek people just suddenly jump onto the the canby street bridge and you see them running through traffic just mm -hmm. to get to the other side to see them as they go under and and it's like that's 
fun. I like. I love whales. I love marine life. I'd like to be able to do something with that someday. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, yeah, of course, uh, you could just pay and go on the the boat. I could. Some driving. Yeah, yeah. I've, I, I, but I feel like there just seems like there's something that might be like you're asking what a dream job. Would yeah, be. sure, sure. And yeah, yeah. not necessarily tourists, but maybe even stuff with like researchers. Let's go on a boat and okay. go look for things. Sure. That exploratory stuff. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like fun. Wasn't there like there? Uh, there was a gig a while back that was like um, you would be on a boat. But you would be the resident artist on a boat. Yeah, that was a weird... And you would draw on a boat. Yeah. It's one of those uh, freighters. Like where you, where you... There's this thing. Uh, not many people know about it. It's cruising by freight, uh, by freighters. Because uh, the big... Um, fr- because what happened... There used to be this law where uh, if you come in with a freight, a big tanker, like, yeah, yeah. and if you have passengers, uh, you get priority... Uh, hard, like spots for, for okay. getting yeah, into the heart for, for docking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, they would encourage this. You'd get, they'd have state rooms <laughs> set up. They're much bigger than cruise ships, and this is the whole slow boat to China thing. You know, it's just you would sit, be on this boat for maybe thirty to ninety days. Yeah. You get a lot of writers who do this. A lot of people, like retired couples, do this, and it's you know it, you're just hanging out with the crew and and just doing this this cruise. And uh, I read about it and like, oh, that's kind of neat. And, and then so a few years ago, there was this weird artisan residency program where they would pay you to go on one of these slow boats yeah. to and, uh, and do caricatures of everyone. Yeah, just uh, it was it was supposed to be uh, encouraging. I think it was like the, the whatever board is responsible for trade in between uh, like the Pacific kind of trade thing. So they wanted yeah. to have art to reflect the the all this stuff that's been happening for hundreds of years. And so they were going to hire an artist who was like, I should apply for this. It sounds like fun. And then uh, you think a year later there was they did it again. And I think that boat got... Uh, got stuck because the company went bankrupt, so it was kind of sitting in a harbor okay. somewhere forever. Wow. It's like I'm glad I didn't apply for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, was, was, going was like, that that uh, Korean? Um, I don't know if it was the Korean one. It was, it was a, a different Korean one. shipping company. Yeah, that, yeah, that went like, under, and like all the containers I'll, I'll were like, stuck you, everywhere. I'll miss you. Not seeing yeah. you for a year. That was I know. I know. No, no, no. It was only thirty days. Oh, I'll miss was, you for thirty days. Yeah, <laughs> and I figured out like no, that's too long. I don't want to. I don't want to be gone for that long. Very good. So okay, so we've gotten we've covered your dreams. Yeah. And your dreams are get on some water. I guess so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. We're up around water. I love water. We got about a minute left. Yes. Is there anything that you uh, would like to uh, plug or tell people about or <sighs> think that people need to be more informed about? I'm going to say people should follow you on Twitter uh, yeah. because you're. Uh, you're very uh, politically minded, politically active, and uh, that's where they'll see your editorial cartoons yeah. first of all. Uh, my, and... my my continuing attempts to piss off the president. Right, and <laughs> yes, and you arguing with people via gifts, which I think is excellent. Oh yeah, it's a good way to shut people up. Yeah, there's yeah. never there's never a response. It's just gifts. Mm. And, uh, and it's the gifts finally, that keep on the giving. People yes. get matter and matter. <laughs> oh, that's the way that goes. It's not going to get better than that. I'm quitting at the end of this episode. Okay, that sounds good. I'll, like, I'll be I able to spend fully, more time with I you. I fully support you on that. Okay. We should we should work after this because we've got to pay for this basement yes, now we too. Do. Oh, oh my Lord, God. Rent is so goddamn. I got a deadline just, too. I got to work know, on it. Just say we're on it's Patreon so if you want to support us. Oh Lord, God, Patreon. Really it's not that hard to just a couple of bucks on Patreon really. Pia Garrett.